Our litter is 15 days old now and we start to see some interesting changes. I want to show you the face of a tricolor and the face of a black and tan and take a look and see if you notice any differences. Oh you, hello little pudge belly. Well since apple is turning over like that, all right let her yawn. Now take a nice close look at Apple's face. Eyes are open of course. And look at her head and her body, but especially the face. Let's compare that to Zilla's face. If you'll notice, Zilla's nose is nice and jet black. She has white markings on her chin and her chest and her paws that are really not desirable in a black and tan. However, um, her nose is jet black. Apple's nose has little stipples of black. Those are just coming in. If you go back and see some of the videos from when these puppies were first born, you'll see that the tricolors were born with pink noses, but the black and tans were born with black noses. That's the way they are. Black and tans and rubies, being whole colors with no white, are generally born with jet black noses. Whereas Blenheims and tricolors, who do have white in them, are born generally with pink noses and the black grows in. Now what we're hoping for is that the black will continue to grow in and fill in completely. Take a look at Joy's nose. Joy is uh, getting the pigment in her nose a little bit faster. And according to the breed standard for Cavaliers, if they are to be um, good show dogs, then we would expect that nose to be completely jet black and any flesh colored marks on the nose would be something that we would not want to see in a show dog. Another thing that's kind of interesting is the black hair on the tricolors. Again, Apple. If you look at her markings, you might notice if you've been following since she was born that the black hair seems to be coming in a little bit more than when she was born. It just so happens that with Cavaliers, I'm not sure about other breeds, but with Cavaliers, the black hair is the one that grows in the fastest, the thickest, um, and therefore that nice little spot on her forehead is starting to merge with the black on the side and by the time she's fully grown, it may merge completely unless we shaved her down, which we certainly don't want to do. There is um, an implication with that in terms of ear care. You'll notice the ears on tricolors are black. That's the way they're supposed to be. Ears on black and tans are black. That is the way they're supposed to be. On Blenheims and Rubies, the ears have the tan colored fur. So therefore, we would expect that with tricolors and black and tans, the ears would grow in thicker, longer, fuller, and generally they do. The implication for that is that if you have a dog with black ears, there is going to be more care involved more combing, more brushing, because they are going to get thicker and they're going to be more susceptible to matting. So anyway, our puppies are doing great. 15 days old. Very, very cute. So we'll let them sleep a little and then we'll let Bootsy in to nurse them again.